This is the part of the show where we take photographs you send in, focus on some of the problems, and hopefully give you some inspiration on how to move forward. Today we have a house in Florida owned by Alex and his wife, and Alex writes, Alan, we really want to bump up the color any way we can. Now, Alex, I've got a couple of suggestions for you. Number one, the mulch you're using here, it looks like a shredded hardwood. It's very blonde. If you'll go to a ground pine bark, or even pecan shell, or even uh, cocoa shells that's really dark, it will enrich the color of this immensely. The other thing that I, I see with this house is I'd love to bring this bed all the way down to the street like you have here, and even wrap it around the utilities here and here. You see, it looks like you've got a water meter there. If we could back this bed with a gumpo azalea that grows very low, and put the gumpos on each side like this and carry them across the back, then you can see this gives us some room to really do some planting all in here. And just think about this being planted out in the winter. You're in Florida, so you can grow impatience in the winter. So you could fill this in during the winter with impatience. There's certainly many choices for the summer. One you might think about are just fibrous begonias here in pink. I would take the sign here and move it to the front, right in front of these gumpos. So the sign would go here. Just erase that because what I want to point out, you mentioned that you'd like to have color in containers and the beds. So what you have here is an opportunity to place a large container here and a large container here at this end of the bed. Now, here you could do agapanthus. They'd be spectacular in there with those big blue heads, give you lots of color. Uh, you could go with a lantana or even one of the oleanders. And then up here, I would add another container and for summer, what I might do is reflect, maybe put begonias in here, that would reflect what you might have here. So these would echo, you could have taller plants going on here and here. And then up on the porch, I see an opportunity, it looks like a very comfortable porch by the way, I see an opportunity here for a really large house plant. It could be something as simple as a, a ficus tree. If you want something that blooms, you could do another oleander that might reflect the colors that would be working here and here. And then for this underside of your foundation planting, let's move the hose around the corner here and then use this bed, which is the foundation bed or the bed at the foundation of the house to maybe put a camellia here. You do so well with those there. And maybe a camellia over here on this side to help frame it. Great winter color. And then you might even think about filling this bed maybe with something um, like a, a rose that doesn't require a lot of care, like a knockout rose or something like that, that you don't have to worry about spraying, but have lots of blooms. I'm thinking anything in sort of the pink range all across here for good summer color. And then here on the corner, it looks like you're getting a lot of sun. This would be a great place for one of the pink colored lantanas here on this end. Well, those are just a few ideas for color, Alex, and I hope that's helpful to you and your wife. Good luck with your project. It's a beautiful craftsman style cottage. Congratulations. Mm -hmm.